Hello and welcome back and welcome to my book corner. I love my bookshelves so much and I love my chair. The coziest thing, the comfiest thing, and it's a wingback chair. All of my dreams come true. Anyway, so it's the second week of this whole booktube thing and I was already at a loss as to what to film and what to make in this video. Um, I thought about a bookshelf tour to just kind of go over my books um, and maybe go over what I want to read this month. But wow, I don't even have a list of what I want to read this month. This the last couple weeks have just been crazy and these next couple weeks seem to be even more busy and I don't I just don't even know if I will have that much time to get a lot of reading done we'll see but I also need your help I would love for you guys to give me suggestions on what you want to see the types of videos you want to see um, so yeah just comment down below any suggestions of what you want to see um, any specific or even any questions I don't I don't really know what I'm doing here this is all new to me um, I did have one suggestion from someone um, after I posted the first video and she was she's a mom of three girls and one little boy and she wanted me to make a video for moms um, on what would be some good suggestions on um, yeah, she wanted me to do one on giving good suggestions for young girls to read and also tips on how to get your child interested in reading I think it was um, so that is an idea and it's a re actually a really good one because I have ideas for young girls to read and also tips on um, getting your children interested in reading. I have no children, <laughs> but <laughs> I do have some ideas um, as far as inspiring others to read just in general. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? So that is an idea. I'm not sure when I'll do it. I need to go through my stack of books and also just think back over my reading history um, because I don't own all the books that I would like to suggest for people so I need to do some research get some notes on that and um, do that anyway so I think I will just do a little bookshelf tour um, giving a brief overview of what I have on my shelves um, yeah, so come along with me and see what all I have, I guess. <laughs> okay, so here at the top I have um, my old books and classics and these lovely little pine cones from Poland. I don't remember where this rock is from. <laughs> I think it's from Poland as well. From the Baltic Sea, I think, maybe? Anyway you're here to see my books. Um, so yes, I have my collection, Jane Austen, Jane Eyre. Hold it. I love that book. I just read it this year for the first time and I'm a big fan. And yeah, like I said, a lot of these books I have collected from the thrift store that I work at. I'm telling you, I have the best job because wow, I find so many treasures. Um, all of these old books. This Little Women, um, book is actually from a flea market that I found and it was this one is an 1880s edition I believe wow it's so pretty I should just get it out it is seriously just so pretty oh what is that <laughs> that fell out anyway Book is 1880. Wow. It is definitely a very old book. But a very beautiful copy. Wow. I love it. Um, 
So I do kind of have this thing where I collect old books just to have them. And this one is probably just going to stay on the shelf and it probably won't <laughs> be reading this particular copy because I do want to preserve these books because they are very old. But I did find this copy at the thrift store the other day and I just think it's the prettiest thing. It is paperback and I usually prefer um, hard covers but I just thought this one was so pretty with all the little details. I love it so much. So this will probably be the one I will be reading when I reread this book. I did not read Little Women until I was 21. Wow, how sad is that? But I loved it. Anyway, so there's my Sherlock Holmes and all of the old classics. Also, how, wow. I did not realize that Louisa May Alcott also had this book. Has anyone read it? Is it actually any good? It's kind of falling apart, so I rescued it <laughs> and decided to keep it for myself instead of selling it because, yeah, it is falling apart, but I only knew of Little Women and Little Men and Eight Cousins, I believe, by Louisa May Alcott, but I didn't know about this one, so I'm excited to read it and hopefully it'll be as good <laughs> as her other books. Um, and this little thing is the cutest gift someone gave me. It's a light in the shape of a book. It's so cool. Anyway, let me see what else do I have here. Yes, all the old books. Anyway, and then down below, here is all of my history. And as you can tell, I have a lot from the World War II era because that is probably one of my most read um, time periods as far as history goes. It's just so fascinating. There's so many stories that, like, yeah, you just basically get the, um, <laughs> the overview, the brief overview of the entire war, but there are so many stories like this one. It happened in Italy about how the Italians saved the Jews. Um, one of the statistics that was given in this book here was that 80% of the Jews that lived in Germany and Poland um, were killed, but 80% of the Jews that were in Italy or escaped to Italy survived because of the heroic efforts of the local Italian people who were joining the resistance. <laughs> um, such a fascinating book. And so it's just little stories like that that I love to go deeper into the personal lives of everyone who lived through that time period. And yeah, I just have this fascination of that time period and just learning more about what went wrong with man, <laughs> mankind, that they could do such horrible atrocities. Um, I haven't actually read all of these books, but I'm definitely wanting to at some point and anyway so there's my history one and then down here is more um this one does not belong here this is more personal or true stories and biographies and autobiographies that i have collected and then then over here on this shelf is where i have all of my fiction books um, these are my Christian fiction books here up on top and down here on the bottom and then just regular fiction books down here which I have not read any of these books on this shelf okay sorry I read at least three <laughs> or four of these books on this shelf and these are definitely books that I am going to read and decide if I will keep them or not because they are secular so you can't always be sure about the content of them and if they're worth keeping so yeah if you actually see any on here that you're just like no Carmen do not read those books it's not worth it then let me know but as I said I see books that catch my eye 
and I think would be interesting. And so I bring them home and we'll just have to see if I want to keep them or not. And I will let you know. And I have this basket down here as well. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a problem of just different books that um, were actually free that I was bringing home and I wanted to, yeah, they were free. So I'm like, I'm going to take them home and if I like them, I will keep them. If I don't, I can get rid of them guilt free. Okay. So over here I have my little section for junior books and here's some over here and then books for little children, collecting the little golden books, um, because, yeah, I want to have good options for children who come over, and eventually, my own kids, <laughs> I want to have a good library to start out with for them, um, these series by Andrew Peterson, wow, this <laughs> is so good, so I know I said in my first video that I don't really read a lot of fantasy books, but I do enjoy the Chronicles of Narnia series, and I loved the Wing Feather Saga series by Andrew Peterson. Wow, I laughed and I cried. It's just, they're just so good. Um, I have not read these, but they were highly recommended by a friend, so I have those and I'm collecting them. I need one more book for the series, but. And over here, there's some others that I just collected because I want to have good books. This one here, Pax, wow, is the cutest and saddest. <laughs> All the feels for this book. It's, it's just so good and I thought the cover was the cover was what caught my attention because I love foxes and I just think it's so pretty and the story itself is actually really good and or at least I loved it <laughs> and then Counting by Sevens also was a really good book but also really sad um, why do I have sad books <laughs> anyway that is um, my beginning collections for juniors and mid-grade books and then over here I have my books, um, Christian inspirational books. Um, and then down here is more educational books. So dictionaries, I am <laughs> learning Italian or attempting to. So I have my Italian dictionaries and other textbooks on that. And then, um, yeah, just various other educational books that I also want to collect for future use if we ever end up homeschooling our kids which I hope to but anyway we will see about that so that is my educational book inspirational books so there you go that is a little tour of my bookshelf um, my problem is I collect books all the time because <laughs> I just think they look so fascinating and I just I just want to read them all and so I buy them and I stick them on my shelf and I don't get around to reading them the TBR is unending it's so tough <laughs> but it gives me a sense of um, peace I don't know if that's the right word, but just knowing that they're on my shelf and I have the opportunity to read them when I want to actually get to that book and read it. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> Once I start reading, I will probably start eliminating some books off of these shelves um, just because. I used to be a hardcore book purist where I have to keep all the books just just because I have them, but I've been learning to let go <laughs> of books that I know I will not read again, even though I may have enjoyed them. Um, now the old books and classics, like the collectibles, I would probably keep those even if I don't read them. But um, yeah, there's just a lot of these books probably won't stay on my shelves forever because I want to make room for other books that I do actually want to keep and that will probably read again or would highly recommend and give out to other people to borrow but yes also I do have a Kindle um, like I said I'm a book purist and I like to actually have a real book in my hands um, but I do have a Kindle it was a Christmas gift a couple years ago and I do actually like that for traveling because you can't bring your whole library along, 
bring it all in one device and you can read even though I still take a, an actual book <laughs> with me when I'm traveling but I do have it as an option for those books that are only on Kindle um, and then also I actually do a lot of audiobooks now because I'm working and I can listen to audiobooks or podcasts while I'm working and again a book purist when it comes to audiobooks I'm like no I have to actually read the book to count it as being read but I'm learning to let that go as well because I actually want to there's so many books out there with like so many good books that I could never actually sit down and read them all and so I have so many hours at work that I can fill up by listening to these audiobooks and it does help to listen to audiobooks knowing especially if it's a book that I don't have that I can read or listen to it and decide if I actually want to buy the actual book and keep it on my shelf or just be like nope we're gonna just leave that one um, there are some books that I refuse to listen to on audiobook because I actually want to read them just I don't I don't know what this is <laughs> I just have to actually read the book but anyway so yes that is that is what I have my library my very big little library <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching again let me know in the comments below what you want to see um, or any tips any questions I don't know I like to actually, like I said on the other one, I like feedback and I like to actually talk about things. Um, so talk to me. What do you want to see? What do you not want to see? What do I need to change to make this better and more enjoyable experience for you? Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go make some coffee and get started on my actual to-do list for the day because it's a busy day. It's a full day. But I wanted to quick come on and do this because it is Friday and I want to start being consistent <laughs> with these videos so like i said thanks for watching subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and give it a like if you actually like leave honest reviews is what i'm saying that's all i want <laughs> i'm not here just to get a lot of likes and a lot of views because if you don't actually like it then don't like it um i want honest feedback and honest reviews so that i can improve what i'm doing here and um give you guys the best experience um and yeah give you guys what you want to actually see <laughs> and enjoy watching so anyway again thanks for stopping by i really appreciate it um this is a very big new project for me um but it always helps when you have people supporting you and cheering you on. So anyway, yes, thank you, and I will see you guys next week.